been the tuner's darling for donkey's years. On this edition of Test Drive, the Honda Civic Si. When it comes to the Civic tuner market, name it and there's a highly modified part. It runs to the point where there's a modification for just about every meaningful component along with myriad performance add-ons. Not to be left out of this highly lucrative market, Honda has added the Honda Factory Performance or HFP package to the Civic Coupe. The starting point is the Civic SI. The HFP package then adds deeper front and rear air dams, bolder side sills and a deck lid spoiler. It also brings attractive 18-inch wheels wearing P215 40 tyres. While the cabin of this HFP is pretty much stock Civic, meaning two-tier dash, two very comfortable seats, you do get a couple of noteworthy items. The first, a full-on navigation system, and the second, a 360-watt audio system that really does crank out the tunes. The one piece I did like sits up here in the information display. It actually shows you the engine output. Now, for the most part, you never really see much more than about 75% until the IV tech system kicks in. When that happens and you've got 100% output coming from that engine, this thing picks up its side sills and runs like the wind. Beneath the sheet metal, the HFP suspension has been heavily massaged. The new springs, which drop the ride height by a rather shallow 10 millimeters, complement the new high-performance dampers. These mods and the better tires bring a car that really hunkers down and eats fast on-ramps. The unspoken benefit is it accomplishes this without trashing the ride quality. The other bonus is found in the helical limited slip differential. Keeping both front wheels engaged in the business of providing traction cuts unwanted wheel spin and helps to control torque steer. I have long been a fan of the Civic SI and primarily because of its fun to drive quotient. This HFP, well it runs rings around it and it boils down to all of those suspension changes. Where the SI is good, this one is exceptionally good. With the vast majority of the weight sitting right over the front wheels, I expected to run into terminal understeer. Yes, you do find some, but nowhere near as much as I expected. This thing is surprisingly balanced and remarkably neutral. The HFP arrives with the same 2.4-litre four-cylinder engine that powers the SI. This means 201 horsepower and 170 pound-feet of torque. Now this engine pulls strongly at first, then gives the driver a swift kick in the pants at about 5,000 RPM when the iVTEC system begins to do its thing. When this happens, the engine seems to take a deep breath and sprint towards redline. In the end, it accomplishes the run from rest to 100k in 6.6 seconds and the more important 80 to 120 passing move in 4.4 seconds. Whilst accessing the back seat is pretty easy and you'll find decent rear seat legroom, there is a problem. When you sit back in the seat, you and this piece of glass become great friends. Every time you go over a bump, bang. As my cameraman says, it is a noggin knocker of the first order. The power is put down through a six-speed manual gearbox in the front wheels. Now the transmission is, pun intended, the model of civility. The short show's defined gait and progressive clutch means it's a cinch to run through the gears at the required speed. While the exterior differences to this HFP are subtle in nature, the improvements in the handling are anything but. The Civic Si is good in its own right. This version is excellent and it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. If there is one thing I'd like, another 20 horsepower, please. 